Hello everyone, my name is Laura. This is uh, part two of the lecture series uh, Design Your Own Restaurant Concept. In the previous lecture we discussed what restaurant conceptualization is, what are the main components of tourism aesthetization and we discussed a little bit about um, a restaurant concept document and some example of it. So today we're going to continue talking about the entrance, reception desk and cloakroom and we will uh, talk about different types, what to think of and what to consider when you're designing your own restaurant concept. So, starting with restaurant entrance. Um, here is a great example of a mall restaurant. As you can see, the entrance is open, there is no door um, and it's a, basically a white space that you can just walk in through. This is a great for, um, for mall-based um, establishment as first it, um, the, the big opening can actually um, be more inv inviting to your guests and as well you don't have to worry about security uh, and having a door. Um, as clearly when, the, when your establishment closes, most likely the mall will be closing and then the security of the mall will be taking care of that. So that's one option. Here you can see a classic bistro or trattoria. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing this properly, but basically a small restaurant um, entrance. As you can see, it's maybe the little menu and a table just to give the feel for passing customers that this is a restaurant and it's a very small door um, that uh, the restaurant should uh, work with. So you can see um, an, an entrance can be taken as part of the exterior, but I've decided to include it as, uh, as well. It's the, the first step into the restaurant and into your um, interior design and planning. So uh, moving on, and this is a very modern, a simple um, restaurant um, where you can see the decision is to have a small door, but on the other side you have um, see-through um, windows that you can basically peek into the restaurant, which is great as well for passing customers to actually see the atmosphere inside and the interior through uh, while walking on the street. And as well, it's a great way of maybe um, your customers to be seeing what's happening outside as well. So um, these are the main types. Um, it's an interesting concept. You can also have a secret entrance. I don't know if you're familiar, but um, um, during the prohibition era, uh, speak easy type of establishments got very, very popular. And this concept is still um, carrying on um, nowadays. So this is the secret entrance of a really, really cool bar called uh, Flask, uh, which is basically the front is a sandwich shop, um, which, um, which basically you have to pass by the sandwich shop, we can see here in this picture, and then you pass by and the Coca-Cola fridge is actually the entrance to the bar, which I think it's really, really, really cool. Um, and is um, it has the appeal of you have to know it's there to find it. So that's something interesting and as well um, it's a great thing um, to, to, to think about when you're designing your concept. And here you can see the actual bar um, inside. So reception desk, you may have a reception desk, you may not have a reception desk. So that very, very much depends on your type of establishment. If you're having a mid-scale to upper scale luxury restaurant type of establishment, most likely it's good for you to have a reception desk. Um, the main types of desks are a single station where you can have one computer where a receptionist can be taking or a hostess um, can be taking uh, in reservations and also can be welcoming the guests and maybe Mm, you can have a couple of more to actually be escorting the guests to their tables and seating them um, uh, to, to their designated uh, tables. You can as well have a multi-station, uh, which is most likely uh, going to be for a larger establishment. And just to give you a feel, the single desk uh, is maybe going to be suitable for establishment of um, anything up to 150 180 seating restaurant, uh, while a multiple station uh, will be most likely uh, better for larger establishments. So here we're talking about 200 plus seating. 
thinking that in peak hours you're going to be having really tons of people walking into the restaurant and um, it's good to have uh, more than one people at the desk to actually welcome them and um, um, and kind of uh, service uh, their reservation and their seating. Um, that as well will require many more additional hostesses or receptionists to be escorting the guests to their tables. But um, the pretty much the only difference between multi and single station reception desk is the, uh, the sheer capacity of the restaurant. Um, it's a great idea to have as well a round desk. This has been very, very popular in recent years. Um, the idea of it is that if you don't have a single corridor or a single direction where your customers will be coming from, and like here, you're going to be having multiple directions, maybe it's good for you to um, take the decision and have a round desk. So even if you have one person standing at a desk, they can just easily pivot um, sideways to kind of welcome your guests so you don't make them feel like they're sitting on the side or kind of a little bit at the back of the receptionist and it's a nice way of actually uh, seeing all directions and um, welcoming your customers from um, from multiple directions so this is something to think about um, cloak room or coat room uh, cloak room um, it's maybe going to be suitable again for restaurants, maybe not for cafeterias or diners, but it's a great way to actually um, uh, offer an additional service to your customers. So you can have anything from self-service where you basically uh, set some hangers around the tables where customers can just hang their clothes um, to um, an elaborative service of picking up their clothes. It's important to think of a, some kind of a um, coat service um, in your establishment as um, if you think about it you you would most likely put a lot of effort in designing your establishment um, and, it, and you don't want a ton of coats and um, and bags to basically uh, ruin the design when when your establishment is full so this is a a good service b it will uh, allow you to, to keep the design of your establishment in the way you wanted it without uh, your beautiful chairs to be covered by coats or um, your customers' bags to be just laying around everywhere. Um, and, and as well, it's a, it's a very, very nice, um, as I said, it's a very, very nice service to offer to your guests. So you can go from anything to self, from self-service to a separate room. Uh, here I... Um, speculated that the little room on the side of the desk is actually the cloak room to have a separate room it's uh, it's important first for the for the sheer security of it as you want to have a full control of um of where your um customers uh, bags and coats are, are positioned also you can control any mistakes of um, your guests picking up the wrong coat um and um, as well, uh, you, you prevent your entrance and your reception desk of just um, changing its design as the evening progresses. Um, here, I do apologize for the picture, but I really wanted to include it um, as I've actually worked in this restaurant. Um, as you can hear here on the left hand side, what looks as a door is actually a massive wardrobe. As you can see, from, from this, you cannot guess um, whether you have um, one guest in the restaurant, none, or the restaurant is full. Um, just uh, FYI, this is a 180 um, uh, seating restaurant called Gaucho and it's positioned in Manchester, uh, UK. So um, it, it's a great way to A, keep your design, B, secure, and, uh, and as well uh, kind of in the best possible way not to give away how, how busy your restaurant is, which can be both a good and a bad thing. But we'll discuss this later. So this is all for today's lecture. Next time we'll discuss a bar, commercial area and kitchen, which are one of the most important concepts. Uh, this is all for me now. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this lecture and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for me now.